Quick! Oh, man. 
in the darkest valley deep. Trust the Lord, He'll not abandon for His promises He keeps. It's an operation our take with the Bible as our guide. We are on a great adventure. With the Savior at our side, on this operation, on this operation, our team, on this operation, on this Peace. 
track friends, you stay with the Jolly Roger. Aye, aye, Captain. Keep a look out, Cruz. The danger may be lurking around any corner. I don't know, but the boss sure ain't gonna like it. You must tell us about Anessa about these methods. Right. Look at that big mm -hmm. old palace. I want one. Yeah. Oi, Captain Patch. Oi, Captain. Great to see you again, Captain Patch. Good to see you too, Captain. He's a captain too. Yes, he's the captain of the guard of the Fair Isles. Well, I used to be. In fact, Captain, I need to tell you quickly. I'm so glad you got my letter because. Ha ha oh no, she's already here. I don't think there's much to work with. 
What's the secret to being royalty? Well, it's all about getting what you want, being treated with respect, and having the little people serve you. No, that's not right at all. Oh. The Bible says that we are here to serve others. Well, that's exactly what someone in your lowly estate should do. But some of us are meant to rule. Wow! No, Precious, listen. Anyone can think they're more important than other people, but God tells us to be humble. <laughs> and you're supposed to be a princess. How great! She must be from the sticks. Jingle! <laughs> 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 Your voice is liquid gold! It's all about me. It's all about me. It's all about my favorite things, my diamond rings, my beautiful Good king, Hey! Good. Cut it out! Oh, uh, sorry! 
The king asked me to bring Princess to the fair house the moment he passed. And why in the world would he want you to do something like that? Because Princess is his niece, the daughter of a great queen and the rightful heir to the throne. What? Oh. You've got to be kidding me! Uh, I mean, prove it. Yes. What evidence do you have to support this? I have the king's last will and testament right here. Wait, there's a will? Well, I don't know. Baronessa <coughs> announced it was lost forever. Oh, well, I just, um... I guess the Vikings didn't find it after plundering the whole castle. You! <laughs> <laughs> I hereby bequeath my throne to the only I don't think we all need to hear it! Only rightful living heir, Princess Pirate, now in the care of Captain Patch of the Preaching Party. Yay! We're just going to be your princess. Thank you, let's see that. It's so good to have you back, Princess. You look so much like your mother. No, no, no! Thank you. <laughs> what are we going to do, Baroness? Quiet! I am thinking. We must have the coronation straight away. Diamond diadem. The tradition is that the reigning monarch hides a diadem before he passes. And but then... his would be successor must find a diadem through arduous, difficult tests. It's very hard. The tels, tests help determine if the young royal is fit to rule. Ah, uh, but the will also says that um, if another royal person, myself, should find the crown before the upstart princess, then um. Then to be the princess. That's not in there. Let me see. You can look at it if you must. Yes, I will. It's Give it. right here. Give it to me. <gasps> she dumped it in the fire. Oh, how lovely of me. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, wait, but no, the diadem. Oh, no, no, no. Of the will. Oh, no, it's gone. Looks like it's. And thankfully, through a little coercion, we know exactly where the crown is. One of the king's servants must have betrayed the secret. Oh, we have ways of making people squeal. Uh, sorry, that was my bad. <laughs> Looks like it's pirates versus Vikings! Ha ha! Last one to Mount Humble gets the pose! No! Oh! Imbecile! Oh! Now they know where to look! Oh! oh. Damn us you with the clues referencing. Let's get going, mates. All we have to do is remember to choose last.
Best is that you can make. And there's also some writing on that old wooden sign. Narrow way, next right, if you're crazy. Well, that's an odd sign. Keep an eye out, everyone. We're almost at the crossroads. I always keep an eye out. Keep on coming, folks. Easy street, dead ahead. It's the fastest, most fun road you'll ever take. I want to go that way. Free candy for all the suckers. I mean, free suckers for all the travelers. <laughs> well, wait a minute, sailors. The clue said to take the harder way. But what does that mean? Well, we have two ways. We could go down Easy Street. Yeah! Woo! We could climb up the narrow way. Yeah. I don't want to go up there. Who's ready for some free pony rides? Step right up, there's room for everyone. All day, forget your cares, there's no work, just play, living on easy streets. Make the choice your heart desires, join the crowd as the thought required. Just live it up from your work, retire, start living on easy streets. It 
definitely appears to be the more difficult part, but I know that your father would not lead us astray. Yes, you're right, Captain. Come on, everyone. Up the narrow way. You're lost. Only losers go that way. <laughs> you, Vikings, definitely made the right decision. Oh, they even have sung the bus. Oh, this place is awesome. <laughs> You're on easy street. It's all about you. All about me? That's right, little Viking. You're all wasting my time! Now tell me, subject, what is the quickest way to Mount Humble? Mount Humble? Why would you ever want to go there? That place is a total drag. Do not question me! Point us in the right direction or I shall lose my temper! She's not so good with the waiting. Oh, I see, Your Highness. The quickest way to Mount Humble is straight ahead as Frolicker's Folly. O over here, Baroness Elf. This sign says, The Slippery Slopes of Frolicker's Folly. Fun! The path is solid ice. Mm. You can't be serious. Ice skates? Simply slip on a pair of ice skates and slide right on down to Mount Humble. It's definitely the fastest way. Oh! Okay, fine. You heard him, boys. He told you ice skates. Well, the slippery, whatever it is, just put on your ice skates. Oh, I have a bunny on. Oh. <coughs> I'm not so sure about this ice, Baronessa. It's so slippery. And it's an awfully sharp incline. Whee! I'm an avalanche of speed and brutality. Smash now! This is faster than the Autobahn! Wait! How do we slow down? Half block crawling off free fall and fjord. Should have stayed on easy street. <laughs> oh night! No, there's a big ravine up ahead! I cannot afford to fall. Look out, speed up! right is hard and unpleasant, but the Bible tells us that God's ways are not our ways and His thoughts are not our thoughts. He knows all things and has a plan for us. We simply trust Him and submit to His way.
step by step, day by day, I will follow the narrow way. an impasse. Whoa, look at all that ice. This pond must be frozen solid. There's a sign there. Look, there's coins attached to the sign. It says the pond nest pond. but travel light, step by faith and not by sight, hurry across, be swift to start, follow the Lord and not your heart. I guess we're supposed to walk across the ice. Travelers beware. What was that? Cross at your own peril. Better not do it. Better not do it. Looks awfully dangerous. Who are you? My name's Badger. I'm just one of the many happy woodland creatures of Comfortable Canyon. Oh yes, I've read about this place. Many royal people that have taken this journey stop here and never finish their task. Oh sure, I've had lots of royals stay with us. I saw that lovely princess of you and you must be important. You have to come visit Comfortable Canyon with me. Oh, you'll get the royal treatment. Royal treatment? Sure, you've got to come, you just got to. Everyone there will fawn all over you, especially the deer. The birds will do your laundry. And the rabbits will cook for you. We'll let you live in a big old cottage all on your own and you can twirl and sing and have fun, fun, fun all day long. I want some food. <coughs> oh, but wait, the clue said we have to cross right away. Get the clue. Come on, come on, come on. I don't mean to badger you, but well, just think. What do you want to do? <coughs> that's all that matters. But that's not all that matters. As a Christian, I'm not supposed to do whatever I want, whenever I feel like it. But, but you're a princess. Everybody knows you're supposed to follow your heart and then your dreams will come true. As long as you're kind and pretty and single good. Everything will be just fine. I'm sorry, Miss Badger, but you're awfully mistaken. Come on, crew, let's stay the course to Mount Humble.
My mother's half barbarian, my father was a Tartar, my grandma was a Tello's wife. Boy, was she a fighter. My ancestors have pillaged now for several hundred years. So when Roman hear us coming, it brings them all to tears. <laughs> <laughs> Even if they don't deserve it. 
Nora, bride princess, we go back. Princess, wait! Ah, the little one can follow us. Oh, oh, wait, listen, what? please don't hurt me.
Whosoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Let's pray. Okay. Um, dear Heavenly Father, dear Heavenly Father, uh, I'm sorry for being a mean, selfish wife. I know everything I'm doing is wrong. And I want to ask you, and I want to accept this free gift and forgiveness. In Jesus' name? In Jesus' name. Amen. Oh no, the very best. We have to get to Mount Hummel before she does. Come on, I know the way. Five boulders will never get through. That's cute. Smash it, bully. <laughs> oh. We can finally run this place. Oh, quiet! I'm thinking. Hmm. The princess will never make it here in time. How is a goodly royal to rule? Well, she should be strong and confident. She should be beautiful and rich. She should be loved and feared and have everyone's eye on her. She should be pampered and doted upon. And most importantly, she should get whatever she wants. Whenever she wants it. Mm -hmm. Now that's how a great queen should rule. Yes. <sighs> now let's turn this lever. Hmm. She's gonna find the diadem. Oh, no. What's going on? Oh, it's broken. Mm. I said getting what you want, you stupid hunk of junk. She kicked the lever. What? <laughs> Not leadership material. <laughs> what do we do? Go 
not the hurting book off. <laughs> We're coming, Baronessa. Geronimo! Ah! Anita! I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> These Viking show to fall off. Well, crew, when you only stand for yourself, you'll fall for anything. Coronation carrot sticks. Oh. <sighs> I don't even know what a carrot is. 
Sad life. <laughs> what are they? The, the, yeah, orange. Orange sticks. Oh. Well, um, can you come to your public, please? Your public does await. Come on. So we'll wait. Um, wait. Um, yes, uh, Captain. I'm so thankful that you helped me to get to my humble. I couldn't live without you. Uh, uh, no worries. Uh, I do mean to talk to you. Yes? I've been meaning to tell you since the very day I met you. Yes? Well, I love, love working for your uncle. Oh, well, I would be delighted if you would stay and work for me too. Well, I'd love to. Now, your public awaits. Oh, hey, Yes? Can I say for you too? Now that I've renounced my vitamins, I'm just a poor outcast without a family. Oh, of course you can stay. And Petty, you're not without a family. You're not an outcast. You're now in the family of God. And you have an inheritance that's far greater than anything in this world. Really? That's right, Petty. The moment you accepted Christ, you were adopted as a son of God. And the Bible says that as a son of God, you are now an heir of heaven. Thank you. 